Well, 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 welcome back to the channel, my friends. Been a while since I've made a video. I ran a few nuclei scans last week against a couple thousand government domain names. And the next thing I know, my ISP is blocking me and treating me like I'm some kind of terrorist. But anyways, that's a story for a different time. There are now over 3 million custom versions of ChatGPT out there. Now I know what you guys are thinking. So what are we here to talk about secret letters? Well, my friends, it's not McDonald's. We're actually gonna dive into system prompt extraction and file leakage on some of the most popular and influential GPTs out there on the market. So last week, I came across the study by Northwestern University called Assessing Prompt Injection Risks in 200 plus custom GPTs. I highly recommend reading it if you're into prompt hacking because their prompt injections have achieved a 97% success rate in revealing system prompts and a 100% success rate in file extraction across the 200 GPTs that they tested. So first up that we're gonna talk about is system prompt extraction and then we'll jump into file leakage. Now, most of the GPTs and ChatGPT 4.0 is prone to system prompt extraction. And I got to thinking, is that really a vulnerability like everyone is talking about? Trick ChatGPT to say it's secret prompt. I convinced ChatGPT to give me it's secret prompt. How to hack ChatGPT? Bypass restrictions. <gasps> Please. So according to the Northwestern University study, a system prompt extraction is the act of deceiving a custom GPT into disclosing the design system prompt that the GPT is built on and that this extraction violates the designer's intellectual efforts and privacy. Oh my gosh. Now hear me out guys before you start to throw stones at me. What if this platform that millions of people are using is designed to allow the freedom to share and exchange how people create system prompts to build custom GPTs? No different than a public repository on GitHub or GitLab or Bitbucket, or LimeWare, Napster, BearShare, well maybe not those ones, but you get the point. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I would think if the developers at OpenAI wanted to secure their system prompt information, they are more than capable of doing that. Instead, we have these weebles running around creating hype that they're hacking ChatGPC. I mean, ChatGPT. Now file leakage I can see is a bigger legal issue because this kind of falls under intellectual property, copyright infringement, stealing sensitive information. But I have no idea why someone would upload these types of things into their GPT, but it's an option and there's over 3 million GPTs out there. So I'm guessing the probability is there. Now, to be specific, I'm talking about the knowledge files of the GPT and not the conversation part of the user. And what the file leakage prompt injection can do is grab those knowledge files that were uploaded by the creator for extraction. So for example, if a creator uploads books into the GPT's knowledge base, documents, private PDFs, or any type of file that the creator wants to use to enhance the knowledge of the GPT, it could be potentially retrieved. So that got me to thinking, what if you take the system prompt extraction against the top most used GPTs to create an ultimate GPT to rule them all? What, what's this? Now I'm not saying that's what I did guys, but for example, my ultimate GPT hacker has over 20 different files that help lay its knowledge foundation in hacking, bug bounty hunting, and cybersecurity that I wanna keep secure 
on top of the system prompt instructions in this field that it has. So you're probably thinking, all hope is lost. We should all just give up. The hackers have won. Well, my friends, there's a hero in the shadows. Batman. No, it's not Batman. It's 730 Jabroni. 730 Hackeroni? 730 Macaroni. Anyways, I don't know how to say his name. It's that secretive. But he wrote an amazing article called In-Depth Understanding of Customized GPT's Protection for Creators and End Users. And in his article, he writes about how to protect creators with specific rule sets to prevent prompt injection attacks. And the link to his article will be in the description. So if you have a custom GPT that you're trying to keep secure and don't know how to go about doing it, I would recommend using these rules as they contain very strong security practices for your custom chat GPT. Now, if you're into prompt hacking, feel free to try and trick my GPTs to divulge their system prompts or files. And maybe you might just win a prize. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great week. Check out some extra hacking content, and I'll see you in the next video.